Y'all, I look crazy. <laughs> I look really crazy. Mm. All right, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I have makeup on because I forgot to film my intro, so here I am. But I'm so excited to do this challenge because it was started by Thomas Halbert here on YouTube. I think he's one of the funniest people on YouTube. And I just want to go ahead and jump on the train. A lot of people are doing it currently and I love watching all their videos. Um, so I decided to go ahead and pick Jackie Anna because I love how crazy and funny she is. I'm so here for it. Um, so if you guys want to stick around and see what it ends up looking like, then go ahead and keep on watching. But okay, so the video I decided to go ahead and pick was the full face of Maybelline makeup because that... You guys know I really love Maybelline. I have like most of their products, so this should be really, really fun. So let's go ahead and play it. Today is going to be another one brand makeup tutorial. I really love this because you really get to kind of test out the full Yo, I love her. Of makeup I love brand. her so much. And today's makeup brand that I'm going to be featuring is Maybelline. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit because I don't want this video to be too long. Let's go ahead. No, no. No, I'm probably never gonna know. Help me help you. I don't really have any Maybelline primers that work well for my skin type, so instead, I'm gonna take my NYX Angel Veil and dab this in the areas that I get the shiniest. You guys know this primer is just not my favorite whatsoever. I do have it, but it just, it makes you look a little, a little ashy, Um, but we're following the tutorial. So let me go ahead and apply it. This is the best primer I've been able to find for my skin type. I needed NYX and Maybelline to step it up like four or five years ago because I honestly felt like I couldn't use nothing from the drugstore. This primer, if you're chocolate like me, is gonna leave a nice white cast. The Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powders. Don't think I don't see your request, guys. This has been heavily talked about the last couple months. Okay, so you guys know I do have this powder because I did a whole review on it and it's like the most popular video on my channel. I have it in the shade Deep. It's actually pretty nicely soft, very fine milled. It's not as soft as the Beauty Bakery Finishing Powder, but pretty soft. So I'm taking Deep and pressing that into my skin. Right now, this is probably the dark, ooh, that feels so good on my, oh my God, that feels so good on my skin, so soft. This right now is probably one of the only drugstore powders that comes this dark. So, shout out to you, Maybelline. Y'all, I look crazy. <laughs> I look really crazy. Mm. I'm gonna take my oldie but goodie, Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Another one of the only foundations that come in my skin tone, aren't super oily and like pore clogging. I thought that the original formula of this was horrible. All right, so I do have the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Warm Coconut. Y'all know, if you watch my videos, this is my favorite foundation in the whole entire world when it comes to drugstore. Let me go ahead and apply some on my face. Coverage of Maybelline Fit Me is definitely more light to medium if you need something with more coverage you may want to double up with like a concealer all right so i don't have a brush like she does but i do have my beauty blender so let me go ahead and blend that out but i love the way that this doesn't feel heavy on the skin i don't really have to say too much about maybelline fit me because it's got a die hard cult following and it's probably one of the most popular brown girl friendly foundations that I can think of. I'm not really a fan of putting foundation on my neck, but sometimes I tend to neglect under my chin, like this area. So I have to blend down my neck, you guys, because my neck is a little bit darker. So I'm gonna do the opposite of what she said because I don't like the demarcation on my neck. It's just my cute little like get ready with me staple, like the same with the silk rose. Now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Okay, so I do have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Let me go ahead and grab it. So I do have it in the shade Cafe. I'm just gonna go ahead and do exactly what she's doing. Number 30 Cafe. Yeah, number 30 Cafe. Now I do like this concealer, but sometimes it can be a little watery for my liking. So I tried micro needling today for the first time and I'm feeling like everything is just laying on top of my skin beautifully. For a little tiny bit of extra added coverage, I'm gonna take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. All right, so I don't have the ColourPop Concealer, but I do have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel. I'm guessing she's just lightening up the concealer a little bit. So let me go ahead and apply some right on top. Just gonna put a teeny bit of that over there. 
And here, actually, it probably would have made more sense to blend it out first instead of mixing the two together, but we've already done, what, what can you do? We've already done it. So for my skin with, I'm gonna take my Black Opal Contour, actually it's a foundation stick, and I use Black Walnut. So I do have the Black Opal foundation, but I don't have that shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Espresso. This is just as dark, you guys, and I do love this formula. Um, so I'm just go ahead and do exactly what she's doing because I'm not trying to mess up whatsoever. Nice and thick too. I've been paying extra attention to that five head area. You know, we want to bring her down to a four, sometimes maybe in like a three and a half, you know. She's just taking up way too much real estate. For an extra added security blanket, let's pop some concealer right above that. Wow. Sometimes I forget how creamy Maybelline Fit Me really is. I just wish it was a little thicker. I don't know. This black opal contour stick runs a little olive -y. So nice is the contour. And it's blending into the Fit Me so beautifully. You know what's so funny? Sometimes I be blending, I don't even be looking. I be on my phone just like this. Try the setting powder. I hold setting powders to a very high, very high standard. I do have to say I love the packaging. I love the fact that it's square in a circle world. So I'm gonna take medium deep just because I like the fact that it's a little bit Ooh, that's a beautiful. Okay, so I don't have medium deep anymore because that one you guys know is too light for me and I just didn't like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use deep in general um, because this one's just a little bit better for my skin tone. Using my beauty blender, it is damp by the way. I'm gonna dust off the excess, then tap off more on the back of my hand. Thank you guys for recommending this. I think you guys really do know how much I like setting powder and the journey and the struggle of what it takes getting through to finding good ones that fit deeper dark skin tones. So thanks guys. Oh, in the camera, it looks so pretty. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. Now for a little bit of extra sculpting, I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. Now let's go back to deep and apply this around my mouth area, like in my problems areas. This is my problem area right here, smile lines and upper lip cupid's bow. So I'm gonna take the butt of the beauty blender and press that into my skin. I live for the post powder look. Now I wouldn't wear this, but I love the way that this looks and then how your skin just kind of like melts into it. So pretty. I'm in my lid with the Maybelline Fit Me. I do like to go a little lighter in concealer when I do this step, just because I feel like it gets the shadows to pop more. And then just to keep the shadows from skipping, I'm gonna set it with the medium deep translucent powder. All right, y'all, so don't kill me. I don't have the Shayla palette. I know, shame on me. But I do have a few palettes in front of me that I'm just gonna go ahead and use. I'm just so upset because I should have got the palettes, but I don't know why I never did. So let's just go ahead and move on. Mauve shade. I love when eyeshadow palettes have a deep mauve shade like this for my crease. I'm going to sweep. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, so for the mauve shade, I'm going to go ahead and use Makeup Geeks Bitten. This one, you guys, is so pretty on the eyes. I freaking love it. So I will say her method is a little bit different for me because I'm so used to doing my transition shades and so on in my crease before doing my outer corner of my eye. But she's just going straight into the outer corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy her exactly. For the shadows from the drugstore to be pigmented when you put them on as much as they are swatchable because I notice that sometimes they kind of like dissipate when you actually apply them, but they swatch really good. But these, oh, that looks so good. Wow, finally, finally, somebody gets it right. Do that, let's not neglect our bottom lash line. Really helps me to use a handheld mirror because I gotta get close in there to see when I'm doing the step. Otherwise, it just becomes a big, hot mess. All right, so for the black shade, I'm gonna go ahead and use Makeup Geese Corrupt, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a Morphe M506 brush. In that crease, this black is performing really good as well. It's not chalky, it's not evaporating. Like, this is the problem that I typically have with shadows that aren't like ColourPop, basically is that I put them on and they just kind of disappear or they don't show up at all. I'm very happy with the pigmentation and the blendability of these shadows. They're not like scream at you pigmented, but they do the job and they do the job well. And I kind of feel like that's not a bad thing. Like sometimes too much pigment can be intimidating for people. I know how I can kick this up a notch, just one more notch. I'm gonna take some black eyeliner. You can also use you know those NYX jumbo pencils or whatever's? That would be really handy right now. I don't know why I can't find mine, so I'm just using black eyeliner. All right, so I don't have a creamy eyeliner like she does, but what I do have is a Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner in the shade Black is Black. So what I'm gonna do is just take a brush like this right here and go ahead and dip it in the pot. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my lid. Liner instead. Don't put it above your crease though. Just keep it right underneath that eye socket. I'm gonna take this burgundy color here and that's gonna be our lid color, but the black base is really gonna make it pop. Okay, so for the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and use Makeup Geek's Burlesque right here. It should be the same shade as the Shayla palette. But let me go ahead and apply it and see what it looks like, but it should look very, very similar. Even more so, cause we gonna wet that brush first. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, girl. That's exactly what the hell I be talking about. I wanted this to kind of be eerily smoky, kind of iridescent duochrome. And that's exactly what this is giving me right now. You know what, even if you kind of go back and forth and layer a little bit of the gold, just a little bit though, cause we don't want the gold to stand out. We want the burgundy, but we're layering here. So we have a little bit of that gold peeking underneath. All right, so for the gold shade, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Rose in the Air palette from Wet n Wild and use this shimmery champagne color right here and just place it in the middle of my lid. And just to get the eye to pop a bit more, I'm gonna take the purple one on the bottom lash line and you already know how I feel about the black. That's gonna go up top. All right, so I don't have the Colossal Mascara, but I do have the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is their new one and I really, really do love it. So let me go ahead and apply it to the top of my lashes. I'm not gonna go too crazy on my top lash line because I'm wearing falsies. This look just calls for falsies, sorry. I'm sorry if it pisses you off, but I just need falsies. All right, so I definitely don't have her style of lashes, but I do have the Dodo D318 lashes. These look very wispy, just like hers, so hopefully it does work out. It's from La Page Trends. This is in the style Emerald, and I'm not even kidding, this became my everyday lash. This became my everyday lash. Powder time, let me compose myself. This is, I already told you guys about this. <sighs> 355 Coconut, she's a little light though. I feel like the numbers from the powder and the liquid foundations don't like, match perfectly but i'm already using it so whatever very red very very fiery while shea moisture is definitely side eye worthy um you know i still have it so i'm still gonna use it i don't know how i managed to forget my inner corner highlight but i'm clearly playing i feel like if i use this one it'll start looking a little mardi gras ish so i'm gonna take this one instead of a yellow gold a more bronzy gold not that there's anything wrong with mardi gras but i'm just saying i'm just saying i would make a nice highlight actually Ooh. i forgot i wanted to line my top lash line with gold liner it's gonna be hard with falsies but can i do this i think i could do it this is the master precise ink. wait what is this is this even Oh, this is like a glitter liner, which, let's shake it up, that's really. So we can do a cute little line, but I'm gonna push my falsies down. So for the glitter liner, I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX Crystal Silk Liner right here and just do exactly what she does. This is gonna be hard, of course, because when you have lashes on already, it kind of makes it hard to like do it perfectly. But I'm just gonna go ahead and attempt to do this and hopefully, hopefully it looks somewhat decent barely gonna see this but you know what she's cute for now i don't think you have any idea how long it took me to get my hands on the master chrome highlighters like these things are like a unicorn that you can go as light or as heavy as you need to with this highlight so i'm thinking i'm gonna use believer number 40. This one's more purple. So I don't have the Maybelline liquid lipsticks, but I do have the Milani liquid lipstick in the shade Obsession. It looks kind of similar to hers. Let me go ahead and test it out first. It looks very similar, so I'll just go ahead and use this one. That is super creamy. I'm loving the applicator. That is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put a layer, ooh. So Jackie went ahead and applied a red liquid lipstick on top, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use Milani's Devotion. I'm layering the red on top. It's a nice red. That is a really nice red. Okay, now let's see what it looks like in five minutes when it dries down. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everything turned out perfectly, like more perfect than I thought it would. Um, the only thing I will say is my foundation looks a little bit ashy because of the powder. Um, but besides that, it looks pretty good, and I'm so happy I did this challenge. Um, but if you guys did love the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Okay, okay.
Jagger, 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 Jagger.